Well, the fun is, I, you know, uh, having my nights back and getting to tuck my kid in, you know, which I didn't really get to do the first year of his life because I had a night job. Now my days consist of singing and dancing with Emily Blunt all day, and then I tuck my kid in at the end of the night, and that's pretty rad. There's a bedtime song routine. You're always a little nervous to read Go Dog Go, because that hypes them up more than it calms them down. I mean, it ends with a dog party in a tree. He's got his favorites. He's got his One Fish, Two Fish, and he's got his uh, Good Night Moon, and, and, and we read all those, and then it's time for Leche and Good Night. We've got some original compositions in the mix. Uh, there's a there's a good night song that I invented that involves the names of every single person he knows, um, and we kind of got to get through that before he falls asleep. And and it's the list is growing, so the song gets longer. My favorite thing to do when I'm not working is walking my dog and taking my kid to the park. Uh, those are the, the two best things in my life. I got a lot of lyrics when I'm walking my dog. You know, as meditative as you can be when you're picking up poop. It really is, it's like, it's the calm in my day. I, you know, I wrote the opening number for Neil Patrick Harris for the to and most of those lyrics got written on epically long dog walks. I enjoy just vegging out with my son and, um, and just sort of watching him pick up stuff is really, we're now at the point where we have to be very careful what you say. Um, he was climbing the steps the other day. <laughs> he was going, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, I gotta really chill with that one. Um, so, but it's, it's, it's real, it's, it's in a, we're in a really fun language place right now. He's fully bilingual. I mean, he's, he, and, and, and it's adorable to see him sense who he's talking to and translate. Like, he'll be like, leche, milk, um, you know, and, and that's kind of incredible. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like a sponge. And he's got a smattering of German too, because he's, you know, my, my uh, mother-in-law is Austrian. So um, he's, he's got one language up on me.